Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Sir Joe and Ms. Chiki, nandito na naman ako. But this time, not as a YMMA awardee, but someone who is so eager to share to everyone how I was shaped by this person. I was actually given a very long time to prepare for this introduction, and yet, ang tagal-tagal na, I still couldn't come up with a concise one. How can I introduce this one-of-a-kind individual? Sana po ay maitawid ko ang speech na to nang hindi umiiyak, or worse, humahagulgol. It is my greatest pride and honor to introduce our next Mansmith Market Master, Ana Aboitis Delgado. If there's one word that describes Anne's, for me, it will be selfless. I met Anna during the most difficult moments of my life in 2017. Moments because that was the time when I lost my dad and three months after, I lost my mom. I was already leaving Union Bank at that time because of the unbearable pain and pressure of work. Anne's at that time was also grieving because she also lost her dad. She was also given the most challenging assignment to be the Chief Customer Experience Officer of the bank, a role that was entirely new to her and in Union Bank. She was tasked to lead game-changing projects that Sir Edwin Bautista, our President and CEO, thought will be the key differentiators of Union Bank. We crossed paths because I was tasked to lead one of those critical projects, the Branch Transformation Project. When I first met her, I was really starstruck. I never imagined working directly with an aboitis. Guys, they practically own the bank. As a Provinciano graduate from Nueva Ecija, sino ba naman ako? Nauutal ako sa pagsasalita during my first meetings with Ants. But all of those intimidation, lack of self-confidence were all erased when I got to know her. She was so easy to work with, very humble, and guys, ayaw niyang magpatawag ng ma'am. Doon lang siya magagalit, actually. So don't call her ma'am, call her Anna. So kidding aside, Anna guided me all throughout in conceptualizing and executing what we call then as branch of the future. She was so hands-on, very fast and firm in decision-making, super approachable and very open. I felt that she really gave her full trust on me in delivering this project. Never ako nahiyang mag-confide sa kanya and even share my frustrations. She empowered me and has never forgotten to praise me and the team and say thank you with three exclamation points. We learned together in this project, construction, digital transactions, ATMs, HR, up to designing the branch uniforms, finding the right furniture, and ang pinaka-enjoyable sa lahat when we were finding the cafe partner because natry namin lahat ng coffee. So ang saya nung exercise na yun. What I like about Anna is her openness to limitless possibilities and her boldness to make the diff. We launched the ARC, the first fully digital bank branch in the Philippines in just nine months, September 2017 to be exact. I myself can't believe we did it. Anna and my other great mentor, Sir Mon Duarte, made it happen. The ARC made strides not just in the Philippines but in the world. One of the world's best branch designs, best branch customer experience in Asia, name it. I got promoted to Assistant Vice President in 2018. Anna was also promoted to Senior Vice President in 2018. The journey continued and we applied the transformation framework in other branches and came up with several versions. Arc for Business, Self-Service Hubs, etc. We even launched EVE, the Robo Branch Ambassador. In 2020, we have completed the deployment of Digital Transaction Portal, the paperless, straight-through experience in all of our branches. I got promoted to Vice President in 2020, and Anna was promoted to Executive Vice President. Last year, applying the CX transformation framework of the ARC, we finished transforming all our 194 branches, which involved space, processes, and most importantly, people. But ARC is just one of Anna's great CX projects. 
there's a lot more. In 2017, ANS also led our Union Bank Online team, the team behind one of the best mobile banking apps in the country. From a base of 300,000 users, we already have more than 6 million customers in the app who enjoy its intuitive user experience and relevant features. Our branch over-the-counter transactions have been significantly reduced as these shifted to the app, like funds transfer, bills payment, etc. So now our branch ambassadors have more time to do high-value transactions, convert clients to digital, and cross-sell. Four years ago, she also led the first digital account opening experience in the country, which we call DAO. Filipinos don't need to go to bank branches anymore to open a bank account and can be done in less than 10 minutes. It's been very successful as evidenced by millions of customers who applied in the app. And during the pandemic, she assigned me to lead the establishment and transformation of digital branch channel where these digital accounts are housed. And because of DAO's success, we replicated this with the social security system so that the members don't need to fall in line anymore in SSS branches just to get the UMID card or bank account in one. Last year, during the Citibank acquisition, she assigned me to lead the customer onboarding work stream for credit cards, personal loans, and deposits. I got promoted to senior vice president in 2022, while Anna was promoted to senior executive vice president. So in all of these significant projects, Anne's made sure that I was a very big part of it, and she always spots the right opportunity for me. And very recently, I was appointed to lead the largest organization in Union Bank, the Branch Channel Management. At sa bawat tagumpay ni Anne's, kasama niya kami, and it's not just me, it's the whole team. And despite these triumphs, the greatest lesson that Anne's taught me, that I still keep keep coming back to today is how to be grounded and humble. She did it by just being a great role model. We see that she lives it. Despite her stature, she is not extravagant and is very cost conscious. We all look up to her not because of her title or because she is an abortist, but because, who, because of who she is as a person. A one-of-a-kind selfless boss and mentor. I can still remember when she personally sourced for oxygen tank and delivered straight to our house when I had severe COVID in 2021. She's not just a boss but a great friend and is concerned in both our professional and personal lives. Example, she gave us painting from renowned artists, treated us to the best restaurants, invited us in her home to drink and celebrate small wins, and a lot more. I don't want to keep you waiting. I know it's overtime. Palagi akong overtime, actually. Um, enough with my cuento. Ladies and gentlemen, hail to the queen, Ana Aboites Delgado. Good afternoon, everyone. And Ron, I have another moment of papagalitan. Don't call me queen. No. <laughs> no. So thank you very much to Man Smith and Fielders for the recognition conferred to me and my fellow colleagues in the marketing field today. A special thank you to Josiah and Chikigo, who exemplify being market masters in the work they do and who continue to elevate the marketing field as they devote their practice to building our country's marketing talent and expertise. Thank you also to Union Bank and my very own market master mentor, Edwin Bautista, who has given me the opportunity and the backdrop to both fail gracefully and thrive uninhibitedly in the field of marketing. And lastly, but most importantly, I want to thank the people who call me mentor in their careers or in their lives. Thank you for the deep trust, and thank you for making my life fulfilled through our mutual growth. You know, this recognition is particularly meaningful to me because the nomination was initiated by Ron, um, someone who considers me to be a mentor, and this award 
um, is about mentoring in the field of marketing. I must admit that when I first opened the letter from Josiah, I was not sure why I was nominated for this award, and I immediately went through the criteria. And I've always been hard on myself ever since I was a child, and so it was natural for me being a uh, type A personality to dissect how I was both deserving of it and spent more time on why I wasn't. And as I went deeper into that conversation happening in my own head, the more I actually found myself thinking about the connection between marketing and mentoring. It then dawned on me that to be a successful marketer of today, we have a lot to learn from the practice of mentoring. So for a moment, although we're all marketers or mostly marketers in the room, let's forget the four Ps or the marketing mix. Let's set aside Philip Cutler and let's spark Porter's Five Forces. I would like to propose that to be successful at marketing, we must understand what it takes to be a successful mentor. Why, you might ask. Because I think we will all agree that both marketing and mentoring have a common goal, and that is to influence behaviors to make life better, or lives better. To be a successful marketer today, we need to effectively understand and reach the segment of one. In mentoring, we have to do the same thing. It's impossible to mentor someone if we generalize who they are or treat them, treat them like they are part of the same cohort. And the most powerful marketing we have today happens when we're able to connect to people on a one-to-one -one level and solve real human problems. Lastly, a lasting mentoring relationship must be built on trust to achieve the end goal of helping an individual achieve their aspirations. So my colleagues and friends in the marketing field, isn't this what marketing is about? Building lasting relationships with customers to excite them when they need excitement, to challenge their thinking, and ultimately to get them to choose brands that make their lives better. So to challenge this thought, I asked myself if I could back it up with my own real life experience. And I began to realize that I could and we'll share with you one story today. And this is the flip side of the story Ron just told you. As many of you know, driving change in behaviors in either a marketing or a mentoring journey is not simple, nor is it a linear journey. In mentoring, it requires going through pain in order to grow. It means letting go of what you are used to in order to emerge a better version of yourself. It also means allowing yourself to be vulnerable so that you can be open to possibilities. Leading change in marketing, similarly, requires a willingness to take risks, to challenge the status quo, and to constantly reinvent our brands and bring to market new and better experiences. In the midst of Union Bank's own digital transformation effort, I was privileged to be able to mentor someone through both their own reinvention and the introduction of a brand that has made its mark in banking and is actually bringing customers to adopt behaviors that improve their lives. So six years ago, at around this time of year, a young and talented union banker who was tasked to lead the most challenging project of our digital transformation came to me and said, I don't think I can do this. There are too many things happening in my life right now, and I need to take time off. I don't think I can handle this project. And this young leader was facing pain and major challenge changes in his personal life while he was being asked to get seven teams in Union Bank and 22 external partners and consultants to do something they had never done before. In fact, they were set out to do something no one in the Philippines had done and few in the world had succeeded at. As a mentor, I had never been through the personal turmoil he was facing. 
and I knew why he wanted to give up. I struggled between agreeing with him that he should take time off to process the issues he was faced with, while I juggled my views as a marketer that told me this would be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to make a mark, not just in his career, but in changing the lives of millions of Filipinos. Deep inside me, I also knew he could do it. And more importantly, my own life experience has taught me that in moments of crisis and difficulty, you have the power to grow and emerge a better person. And so, as a mentor, I did what I knew best. I explained that I understood what he was going through in his life and that it was tough. But I offered to him the proposition that he may be able to lead himself out of that personal crisis by launching into action. I also offered that he would not be alone on this journey, and he would have me and his other mentors to lean on and see him through success. So while the days that followed were filled with difficulty and uncertainty, I saw him bravely accept the mission to build the ARC, a full digital transformation of branch banking, which he needed to complete in a span of six months. And this included creating the concept to detailing the technical builds to a full physical branch renovation to transforming people and reassuring them that they would still have jobs, in fact, elevated jobs at the end of it. Leading from a place of deep purpose, this young marketer not only successfully completed this project on time, but he launched waves in the banking industry and redefined branch banking experience in the Philippines forever. Over the course of the last five years, this project has helped our clients convert to digital so they can spend more time doing life and less time falling in line at the branch. Our branch team's lives have also been enhanced as they spend less time doing tedious manual processes. They get home earlier and they leverage digital to help them focus on being able to make deeper connections with our clients. The result? Union Bank's digital transactions have overtaken manual and physical ones. Our brand has taken leadership in the digital space with back-to-back -back awards from the asset for best digital bank over the last six years. And closest to my heart, as evidence of customer advocacy, we have consistently achieved net promoter scores in the 90s at our branch banking channels. And this young marketer, who you know now introduced himself actually, is a young uh, Man Smith Master Awardee himself, and is mentor to many people in the bank and the marketing industry. This experience exemplified for me how mar mentoring has the power to inspire and propel people into action to lead marketing that in turn transforms lives. Further, it challenged me to think that given how pervasive marketing is in our lives, we as marketers need to reflect on whether what we're putting out there is mentoring our customers to make better decisions by providing products, ideas, and services that lead them towards uplifted lives. And while, as you have heard me say today, that I can get stuck having conversations in my own head, I know that the rubber must always meet the road for all of us. We all have tight deadlines, we have stretched KPIs, and we have inspirational goals to meet. So I'd like to leave you with this thought in closing. If we all focus on marketing that mentors, prosperity will abound for all. Thank you.